Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of gastric poorly cohesive carcinoma or Laurent diffuse carcinoma. And this is taken from an endoscopic biopsy. So we're going to focus on this piece. Let's first take a look at the non-cancerous gastric mucosa. And this is the foveolar mucosa, which is composed of columnar cells with abundant cytoplasmic mucin. And we can see that the nuclei are quite uniform. They are also polarized to the base of the cell. Similarly, we can see the nuclei all lining up at the base with abundant mucin. Here is the lamina propria, and we can see many chronic inflammatory cells. This includes lymphocytes here, here, plasma cells, which are larger with the perinuclear pinkish Hof, and another plasma cell here, and also occasional eosinophils with bilobed nuclei and reddish cytoplasmic granules. In addition, we can also see many neutrophils with the multi-lobed nuclei sitting within the gastric epithelium. The presence of neutrophils within the gastric epithelium indicates that there is active inflammation. Hence, there is a background of active chronic gastritis. Just looking around in the gastric glands in this area, we do not see evidence of intestinal metaplasia that would appear as goblet cells among the gastric epithelium. Going back to low magnification, these are the normal benign gastric glands. And we can see that in some areas, such as this area that I am outlining here, there appears to be a disruption of these glands. We can see them again here, but not in this area. This is where the tumor is. Zooming in, we see that there are sheets of cells within the lamina propria, and these do not form glands. Here we still have benign native gastric glands. These are the sheets of malignant cells. The nuclei of the malignant cells are slightly larger, but not much larger than those of the benign gastric glands. So these nuclei appear irregular. They have prominent nucleoli. And let's focus on this cell here. The nucleus is very eccentric. It is literally touching the cytoplasmic membrane, the edge of the cell here. It is indented by the cytoplasm and the cytoplasm appears somewhat grayish and bubbly. This is because the cytoplasm is full of mucin. Looking around, we can see some other cells with a similar eccentric indented nucleus. And again, there are a couple of cells here with this shape and appearance. These are known as signet ring cells because of their resemblance to signet rings. However, you will see that not all cells have a signet ring appearance. Some of the malignant cells, such as this one, do not show a very indented nucleus. So we have a mixture of signet ring cells as well as non-signet ring malignant cells. Let's look at another piece and I'm again going to focus on this area where we sort of see a disruption in the glandular architecture. Again, here are sheets of malignant cells and these do not have an obvious signet ring configuration. However, we know that they are malignant because of the irregular nuclear membranes, prominent nucleoli, and also the fact that they form these invasive sheets within the lamina propria. On histology, there are several classification systems used for gastric carcinoma. Two of the best known ones are the WHO classification, which includes the main types of tubular, papillary, poorly cohesive, mucinous, mixed, and other types of carcinoma, and the Loren 1965 system, which includes intestinal type, diffuse type, and mixed type carcinoma. 
in the case that we have just seen, poorly cohesive with signet ring morphology, this falls into the WHO poorly cohesive carcinoma and the Loren diffuse type carcinoma. The WHO tubular type carcinoma corresponds to the Loren intestinal type carcinoma, and this is formed of invasive glands. We can see here the tumor that is composed of many glandular openings, and there are irregular tubules and sometimes cribriform structures like this with multiple glandular openings within a single larger opening. These are lined by cytologically malignant cells, and often the stroma in between is desmoplastic with a cellular appearance with some inflammation. The WHO poorly cohesive carcinoma corresponds to Lorin diffuse type carcinoma, and it includes signet ring type carcinoma as well as non-signet ring type carcinoma, where the cells either form sheets or they are discohesive. So in general, these two main types of carcinoma, intestinal in Lorin versus diffuse in Lorin, they tend to have different gross appearances. So the intestinal type carcinoma tends to present more with a localized mass, whereas the diffuse type or poorly cohesive type carcinoma is more likely to show this kind of very ill-defined thickening of the gastric wall. And you can view these two interactive virtual pathology specimens in our online virtual pathology museum, and I will show the link later. Prognostically, the histologic type is of importance. Loren intestinal type tends to be better than the diffuse type. However, this is not universally agreed on. The stage is the most important prognostic factor, which includes the depth of invasion and the presence of lymph node involvement as well as distant metastases. Lymphovascular invasion is also an important prognostic factor. And as mentioned, you can access these interactive virtual pathology specimens using our Virtual Pathology Museum in our online resource path web. The registration is free and you can scan this QR code and look for the registration tab. You can also find the link in the video description. In summary, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of gastric poorly cohesive carcinoma or diffuse carcinoma with areas showing signet ring morphology. This is the area of the tumor where we can see these sheets of malignant cells, some of which have a signet ring morphology with an eccentric nucleus that is indented by the cytoplasm. And the cytoplasm is bubbly and almost bluish in color, containing abundant mucin. Thank you.